Hey, what do you think about Minds as a place to like, uh, like I see you've got separate accounts yeah. with Imaginarium and then the uh, Vapor Test. Like, yeah. are those groups that you formed? Or, no, they're um, channels. So, like, I have, but we do have groups. Um, but yeah, they're, huh. different, they're different channels. So, like, I have Satori D. I have what I changed to the Minds Underground, but it used to be back in the day. Uh, the Minds Panel Show, and then Infinite uh -huh. Imaginarium, and then I started the Vapor Test, you know, to, like, experiment with, like, uh, one particular strain <laughs> or thread, but also, too, in, like, um, doing doing um, more of, like, taking out that uh, cyberdallic uh, strain that I'm always picking at and kind of, like... Yeah, kind of I like, remember the... The Reshkov things on those, they were pretty good. I noticed on mines when when I was at the create post stage that I could uh -huh. select like a Creative Commons license for the oh, post. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is cool because I think you can do that anyway, anywhere, mm -hmm. but it's it seems a little presumptuous maybe. But if it's built into the platform, it's a little more legitimate seeming. Yeah, yeah, totally. It seems like um, you and the the other folks I met have um, kind of mixed feelings about mines, but you obviously like it because <laughs> you keep jamming on it over the years. Yeah, it seems kind of interesting to me. So yeah. I don't know. What What do you think as a about it as a way to, for me to like build a wiki to try to get some of this stuff off my chest. Yeah, totally, a, totally. I, 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 I do think um, mines, it, that's why I like, for a lot of us, it's like different reasons and, and mines is a, you know, it's it's always probably like a multitude of reasons, reasons but it, it, it's simply too, it, it's a kind of a good tool, like regardless of the branding aesthetics of the overall mindset sometimes i have a particular uh pet peeve about i guess <laughs> um, but at the same time i've noted i know and why i have stood uh, is that like i can influence the this the site i can create my own thing and have like my own I mean, I'm, I have even to the point to like, I know Bill and I have talked to him, who is this, you know, the creator or CEO yeah. of Minds, and where me and uh, my group, you know, just stating our opinion and say being who we are and saying different things, uh, the site has moved in like that that direction. This is the, as part of why like I changed like the channel uh, to like the Minds Underground. It's like uh, I changed because like early on too, I think I told you this, like there was like this like weird thing about like the branding or especially early on because we called it the Minds Panel Show and the idea was it's supposed to be like open source. It could be like for anybody. And even in when I first like started that channel, I gave the password to like 23 different people <laughs> and then I remember this one girl she's like why don't do that Satori like what if somebody hijacks it I'm like as far as I know no one has actually used it like I'll start worrying about that when the, someone actually logs on besides me and, and then so like later everybody's like oh why is Satori talking for mine it's like oh who, who put Satori in charge and I'm like fool like if you want to do a fucking uh, show like do it you know and then later I was like, okay, whatever. I kind of like, I think we talked about this before. Like if I'm going to get like this kind of like responsibility and sl uh, slash like a little bit of stress and, and pressure from like even people that I don't really know or interact with. And I was like, oh, this is not even the idea that I really like or like want to work on. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I got to do Imaginarium. But like over the years, I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, I, I know like this, this other story about minds. <laughs> it, it like subsets in my mind. I'm like I know the fucking true story about mines. 
Like, I, I was there, like, in the room when this happened. And then, like, my friend, he got in trouble for doing this. And we're the ones who told, like, Bill to do, like, the crypto. <laughs> and then, like, oh, uh, like, the gatherings with, like, Jitsi. Like, oh, that that was actually, like, me and Gov Spiders. And, like, we're the first ones to, like, tell Bill about that. And then, like, later it happened. And, like, you know, like, it's always funny. Like, those, those couple of developments, even Mind's Matrix was, like, Mind's Gaming's idea at first. But, yeah, anyways. <laughs> So, I'm looking at the Vapor Test channel yeah. right now, and is that something that can compose posts, or it's it's just a vessel for other accounts, right? Yeah, the, the Vapor Test is well. Well, now I turned it into like doing the the count, the Imaginarium count, and then oh like, uh, yeah. And then, like, it's, um, actually, I turned it into, like, uh, because I was been playing around with a bunch of stuff, right? Like, the voice-to-text to apps. And I had, like, those videos on there where starting to, like, build this, like, weird little narrative about, like, the dream time and, like, these concepts of the no-walls. Yeah, it's, it's really kind of been spiking in weirdness lately. Awesome. Lately, actually, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Have you been using AI like in any capacity with it, uh, like with the yeah. burrows? Well, not with the burrow stuff. The burrows was like um, the the some of the newer stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been um, like uh, I've been telling um, within the vacuum. I read this one article. Oh, I had to find it. I didn't read all of it, but I read this one section where she's like reflect. Like she's a. Uh, uh, AI researcher, I guess. I don't know. But she starts talking like she's her journals and her like reflecting her like interacting with it and with her first thoughts. And then she like uh, was saying about how at least at that time, she, as far as she was aware, like she was the only one interested or using it in the way she was using it. And then like, yeah. and then she, she even modified it to where and okay, so like when you interact with the chat GPT, uh, it gives you one output and then you can like regenerate it, regenerate it. But she wanted it to like, when she put in something to do like six generations of it and just to see like how it's doing it. And she, she, she kept on doing this and doing this and doing this. And she said she got like all this like kind of interesting stuff. And then I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then so like, um, I have like these different folders where I'm like, um, like regenerating like different phrases. So basically, I'm, I'm like teaching it certain things to use in certain ways. And anyways, that's how the the recent stuff. Well, actually, the first this, this recent count. So that was like a mixture of things. Those videos that are like the the AI voice are pretty much uh, some sections of like of me of uh, the first like drafts of of things that I was like um, trying to get like interesting things out of the AI. First draft. I haven't actually used it yet. I don't know. I guess I was all caught on my own little trip of um, finding a relatively novel way to use mind maps. Mm -hmm. It's like um, finding that some new frequency with um, chat GPT. Interesting um, metaphor, the, the frequency, the... Um, exquisite corpse frequency oh, yeah yeah the the tile piece that you just put out was rather interesting yeah. i thought like a uh, piece of landscape or a game chip i don't know it's um it's the stuff of page layout like mm -hmm. with with mind maps if if you let it expand like page layout gets really really interesting oh, okay. so let's mess around with yeah. yeah like i was thinking well all this shit could be translated to uh comic page frames yeah totally i think that's what i want to do i'm slowly doing it and i guess like uh i didn't do it so well with kevin but i'll, I'll like alter it but um the next one i have like chris do good and there's gonna be 13 tiles and each of them have like a section of this poem that I wrote a long time ago called Dreamtime 
and I'm adding a yeah. slightly new stuff to it. But yeah, and so what I'm doing, and I was telling um, Do Good about this. Um, so the tile is called the Blooming of the Dreamtime. And what it is, is it's... So all of these Dreamtime tiles are from one image. And it's me, like, using the kaleidoscope effect and then using the tile effect to, like, stretch it out. <laughs> and so, like, I'm stretching this image out. And so, like, the first image is, like, the one, like, most collapsed. And so it's just, like, dots, right? And then I'm, I'm stretching out the image. And so it's, like, blooming the image in this kaleidoscope um, shape. Um, but, yeah, yeah. And so, like, you know, that one image where I use the, um, what's, it's basically like the tree of life and it shows like um, the underworld and, and then what, you know, the tree of life and the, like the, the sky and the heart and, you know, like, kind of, yeah. Yeah, like that, that one I put in the center of this. Um, it's not the one, not all of these images have one uh, like source cell, right? <laughs> uh, they all, they're all like of the same. Uh, one tile i call it the dream time tile that one that i use for that one is slight it's not of the blooming blooming one but it's uh you know within the family of the of that design but anyways it's kind of it, it's been funny to like mess around with that you get really cool like um what we were talking about earlier were what are they called like those train track uh like intersections but yeah, you know what I mean? Make up a word. <laughs> yeah. But Nexus. Nexus. Like, that's what I, I keep on thinking about. Um, I was first, I was first, that's why I fucked around so much with the uh, uh, hyperbolic tilting. Because, because mm. <laughs> like, I kept on like, okay, so today is the eagle, right? And the eagle is, is about like having this like um, highest point of view. <laughs> yeah. To to like oversee everything. And I was just thinking that's how I kind of like felt seeing the weather patterns, right? You have to be from like a very high point of vantage. And then like over time, like if you see like these progressions or these sequences, like there's like a rhythm yeah. and, and a way they fit. <laughs> like, oh, like these time are... is very important when yeah. learning the weather of a given area. People just recognize the patterns and they name the geo-specific patterns. Mm -hmm. And so anyways, like, uh, I think I've been, cause so the kaleidoscope one, you know, they have like the one side, which is basically mirrored in the middle. And then there's, there's two where it's like a more horizontal mirror. And then the oh. three, the three gets into like a knot. And then after that, then you get like mandala, 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 mandala. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, I was like, oh, and I, I think too, like when we talk about this and like the numbers, like three is like the beginning of, of the knot of like twisting, like uh, a combinations, like twisting like a thread together because I've been thinking about like um, weaving, right? And I remember like when I was little, I used to do these little plastic weaving things but like that's the, like part of like the weaving or like you know like when you're uh i never really braided in a piece of hair but like if uh, you seen people braid hair where they had the three different threads yeah and then they, they knot them together yeah but yeah i always think about that with like that setting and thinking about like weaving a narrative and like you know okay there's like different ways you could do it but like this is like the big, the, the, like the first step to like tie that knot, and then like you could, <laughs> and then like later it's like okay, you could do other things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thought I always have when I'm like doing those like mandala stuff. But like you know, like it's kind of funny too when when I I, I think I mentioned this before, but like there was this other exchange with Kevin, and I was saying, oh, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, thinking outside of words and what I was talking about was like when I do like music and I'm like actually like making the collage and then I'm or or when I'm doing the like different visuals and I'm like uh, just looking at it I'm like okay yeah. but I'm not really like thinking in words you know I'm just like that's like I huh. like I stumbled upon the within the vacuum kind of uh, uh, 
idea <laughs> just kind of like floating around and then i'm like oh wait this this is this is shiny okay this oh oh, oh this is something else. <laughs> i just say i remember telling within the vacuum i'm like hey i got a, a, a really good idea for your music video he's like uh and then i don't want to over promise it's like i'll have something later tonight and then and then like within a couple of hours i had something and I showed it to him, <laughs> and he's like, oh my god, this is great. And I'm like, yes, I, know, I knew, like, it was just like, it just, I don't know, it was weird. Like, I like, I like when that was like the flow state. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> because I got two ideas at the same time. I like, I put the pin in, in the Mayan chanting one, because I, I stumbled on both of them at the same time. And I did his, like, right away. 